Okay, so we're going to do another production possibilities for a tier curve question. This one focusing on feasibility and efficiency. Uh, and this question, according to data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural National Agricultural Statistics Service, um, 124 million acres of land in the United States were used for wheat or corn farming in 2004. Of those 124 million acres, farmers used 50 million acres to grow 2.1 five eight billion bushels of wheat and used 74 million acres of land to grow 11.807 bushel billion bushels of corn suppose that the u.s uh, wheat and corn farming is efficient in production at that production point the opportunity cost of producing one additional bushel of wheat is 1.7 fewer bushels of corn however farmers uh, having increasing opportunity cost uh, farmers have increasing opportunity cost, so that additional bushels of wheat have an opportunity cost greater than 1.7 bushels of corn. For each of the following production points, decide whether the opportunity, the production point is feasible and efficient in production, feasible but not efficient in production, or not feasible or unclear as to whether or not it's feasible. Okay, so let's start off with the first one. So farmers use 40 million acres of land to produce 1.8 billion bushels of wheat, and they use 60 million acres of land to produce 9 billion bushels of corn. The remaining 24 acres of land is unused. So to answer this, I'm going to just kind of draw what we know so far, which I've done down here. So we have corn production on this axis. Uh, we have wheat production on this axis. And then the point that we started out at has 11.807 billion bushels of corn located here, and then 2.158 billion bushels of wheat located here, not to scale. Uh, and then the opportunity cost was about 1.7 bushels of corn for each bushel of wheat, if I remember correctly. Okay, so let's start with A. Farmers use 40 million uh, acres of land to produce 1.8 billion bushels of wheat and they use 60 million acres of land to produce 9 billion bushels of corn. The remaining 24 million acres are left unused. So what is that point associated with? So 1.8 billion bushels of wheat would be located about somewhere around here. Uh, and then 9 billion bushels of corn would be located somewhere over here. So we're talking about a production point here. So this is clearly feasible. Uh, however, it's not efficient in production. So what's the definition of efficient in production? Um, efficient in production is when an economy, so economy is efficient in production if it produces on the production possibility frontier. So we know this point is on it. So any point between inside this square, so you know the, the point we're talking about in question A is here, uh, is definitely not along the production possibility frontier. So it's definitely not, it's uh, feasible but not uh, efficient. So that would be associated with uh, this guy right here. So feasible, oops, sorry, uh, with section selection two. So feasible but not efficient in production. Okay, so let's think about question B. From their original production point, farmers transfer 40 million acres of land from corn to wheat production. They now produce 3.158 billion bushels of wheat and 10.107 bushels of corn. So what they're saying is we're you know, starting at this 2.158 billion bushels of wheat point and increase it by a billion. Um, we were told in the question that the opportunity cost for each additional bushel of wheat at that point, we have 1.7 fewer bushels of corn. So in order to go from this point up billion uh, bushels of wheat, we're going to have to decrease uh, the bushels of corn by 1.7 billion. However, the difference between 11.8 and 10.1 is clearly not 1.7. Uh, <laughs> it's in in this question, it's given up exactly 1. billion bushels of corn. But we remember, we're told here. So, however, farmers having increasing opportunity cost, so that additional bushels of wheat. Remember, we increased it by a billion. A, additional bushels of wheat have an opportunity cost greater than 1.7 bushels of corn. So in order to go from 2.158 to the 3.158 in this question, we know that the decrease in corn has to be greater than 1.7 billion. 
Uh, and in this example that they give us, it's exactly 1.7 billion bushels of corn less. What does that tell us? That tells us that this production point listed in question B or part B is just simply not feasible. Okay, so turning to part C. Farmers reduced their production of wheat to 2 billion bushels, bushels uh, and increased their production of corn to 12.044 billion bushels. Along the production possibility frontier, the opportunity cost of going from 11.807 uh, 11 from here, uh, billion bushels of corn to 12.044 bushels of corn is 0 0.666 bushels of wheat per bushel of corn. Cool, so given this information, in order to go from 11.807 billion bushels of corn to 12.044 billion bushels of corn, we need to increase uh, the corn by 0 0.27, sorry, 237 billion bushels of corn. Uh, at the opportunity cost to increase that is 0 0.66 bushels of wheat per bushel of corn. So in order to go from this point to our new production point of 12.044 billion bushels of corn. Again, we have to increase it by this amount. So how much do we have to give up of wheat? We have to, For each one, we have to give up 0 0.666. So we times that 0 0.237 here times 0 0.666, and this is how much wheat, how many billion bushels of wheat we have to give up in order to get that increase. Um, and this 0 0.237 times 0 0.666 is exactly equal to 0 0.1578. So that's telling you that we're going to decrease our, from the starting point here of 2.158 billion bushels of wheat, we're going to have to decrease it by this amount, which brings us down to exactly 2 billion bushels of wheat. Okay, so once again, the, f the farmers reduce their production of wheat to 2 billion bushels of wheat um, and increase their production of corn to that 12.044 billion bushels. Uh, and then given the opportunity cost that they gave us, uh, all of that was feasible and fits within you know, the production possibility frontier. Um, so this point, um, this new point, which is somewhere maybe over here or so, you can see where my cursor is pointing, uh, is on the production possibility frontier and is feasible. So I think that fits under uh, this guy right here. So since it's on the production possibility frontier, we could we say it's efficient in production, uh, and then we given the information we had, we've demonstrated that it's feasible. It's feasible because starting from this point and given this opportunity cost, you're able to get to it, staying on the production possibility frontier curve. So that's it. Hopefully that was useful. Uh, thanks and have a good day. Bye.